of hair. So if y'all can't tell, I'm one, not in California anymore. Two, um, I'm gonna be doing something special today. And it's not Tuesday, but it's a special day. So I'm gonna put this tag up anyways. Um, as you guys have previously seen in some of my videos, well, first of all, let me address the situation. So one, I'm at my brother's house um, for right now, um, while I'm in New York for right now and i'm like in my room and stuff like that so one that's partially why my shirt is so linty so i apologize for that because my brother has a dog that sheds like crazy like the dog i have never been around a dog to shed because I, I usually like teacup dogs they're really small dogs who don't shed so like his dog sheds everywhere it's a short haired dog it's a beagle mixed with the um rottweiler so it sheds on everything and it's like little white black and brown hair it's so annoying so um that's that and then two I kind of feel really YouTube right now because like in the background I have the like famous Ikea um drawers that every single youtuber has that aren't even mine they're my brother's wives but my sister-in-law but it's fine oh well um <laughs> so this is kind of like what my videos will look like for the next four months until I go back to school but so today if y'all can't tell y'all know this from my previous videos you've seen it in all my older videos because I have the flag hang up in my room um I'm Guyanese yes I am I am Guyanese American but I'm Guyanese and today is the 50th anniversary of Guyana so I'm not exactly sure when I'm put this up hopefully I get it up today if I get it up today it'll be later in the day um but I'm gonna try to get it up before the day's over in Guyana and here Guyana's only an hour ahead of us so it's fine and um so I'll like edit and do all those things probably tonight but today is the 50th anniversary which is May 26th May 26th 1966 Guyana got its independence from Britain and let me tell y'all let me explain to y'all how long ago that was because this is not like a short time period this happened <laughs> this happened ages ago like it feels so long but it's kind of short too it's kind of like in between because my mom is 60 she'll be 61 this year so like my mom was already born and like 10 or, or 11 when this happened like that that's how like it's like a short time but it's like long ago so i'm like i joke my mom like i'm like you're so old like you were like alive when your country was like independent like that's so weird like you were alive before it was independent and after so you know both and you guys have seen my mom in my mom tag so you know my mom is like straight guyanese but she's been here so long so you might as well be from she's been here longer than she was in guyana so she left guyana at 21 and she's been here since then and now she's six so she's been here for like 40 years um but today is our independence day and it's our 50 year anniversary and it's like a really big deal so i decided to do the Guyanese tag finally i was supposed to do this before but i felt like today is the perfect day to put it up so let's get into it i know y'all seen the Guyanese flag on my wall back home and now i'm wearing it's like i'm probably gonna wear this all day like Oh, no matter where I go, I'm about to go out with my little me and I'm gonna wear it because hello. Um, I need to represent. Got that Guyanese pride. There we go. So, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. Y'all already know the drill. Like, if y'all see me looking down, it's because my iPad's down here. Um, and I'll have the questions on my iPad. But, question one is last time I was in Guyana. Sadly, and all y'all do not come for me in the comments, but sadly, I've never been to Guyana. I'm really salty right now because I have friends like from Guyana too that are in Guyana right now. And my cousin's like in Guyana right now for the anniversary. And I had to like watch part of it on Ustream, like live on Ustream. And I'm like really salty because like I'm seeing all they Snapchat and stuff. They all having fun and drinking water out of coconuts. And I'm in New York like. I like I want to be here obviously but like I want to be there too I wish I had been able to go but I don't even have my passport yet I'm supposed to get my passport this summer because um I'm supposed to study abroad in Costa Rica next January so I have to get my um 
passport, but as soon as I get my passport, I'm going to um, make sure that I go to Guyana. Maybe after I graduate, like that can be my graduation present and be like, I just want to go to Guyana. But like, I'm a, at least, I mean, I know it's so big, like my, my, my aunties went back and stuff like that. I know it's big for them because like, when the next big anniversary comes around, they might not be alive. Like, I can go to the 75th anniversary because I'll be 45, but they'll be, like, dead. So, they're all like, oh, my God. But, like, my cousins are there, too, and my friends from high school and stuff. I'm just like, listen, I'm, like, A1 salty, top five salty right now. So, don't even get into that, but, you know. Um, one guy needs dish I enjoy. I gotta choose one. <laughs> um, my mom loves to make dal and rice. That is like the thing that we always make. But my favorite Guyanese dish is pepper pot. I think that's probably every any person's favorite dish. It is the national dish of the country, and it is bomb. Like I see, and we serve it during Christmas, so like everybody is really hyped. Like if they have a Guyanese friend, they want to get some pepper pot. Why? I've seen people talking about some, it's oxtail. We put oxtail in pepper pot, yes, but there's other stuff in pepper pot like cow foot, roast beef, um, chicken foot. Like, we put a lot of stuff. It's like a pot, literally a pot full of meat, and then you make it a little hot, and it's sweet too. You put some cas rib. Girl, I can have pepper pot any time of year. I don't care, but they only really make it during Christmas. So, let me get older. It's expensive to make. Let me get older, though. I'll be making it, like, every single week for my kids, but... It's expensive to make like the meat is expensive like just a big pack of oxtail itself is like $22 so then you gotta buy that and you gotta buy hope it's like that's why they only make it around Christmas time it's like $100 to make and then you gotta get the casserole and you don't want the casserole from up here you gotta get that real casserole you gotta get somebody to bring it from Guyana like all the people that's in Guyana right now they're gonna bring back casserole for us because you gotta get some of that you can't be doing this casserole that's out here um Cheese straw is my other favorite thing. Like, I love cheese straw. Cheese straw and pilori, I can eat those things forever. They're more like snacks. They're not like full dishes, but I can eat them for everything. For every meal and fish cake. Like, I don't like fish, but I like fish cake. Don't ask me how that works, but it works. Um, household item that re best resembles. So, I personally don't have... I mean, like, in this house, this is my brother's house. He doesn't have anything that... But, anything that like resembles it in my mom's house we did but we had this like it's not a figurine but it's like a it's like an outline of Guyana like it's a whole statue kind of thing and like it looks like a bookend but like it's the entire Guyana with the state like the, the states the um cities and stuff on it and yeah we have that and we have a lot I have a whole bunch of flags like you know there's one hanging in my room and this one that I have on my head. Um, we have a lot of Guyanese gold. Um, I have a necklace made in Guyanese gold. I don't wear it though because my grandfather bought it for me when I was born, but he spelled my name wrong. So my father made me this bracelet after, so when I was two, so that I could have something to wear that have my name on it. But that's made out of real Guyanese gold. And Guyanese gold is so pretty. Like every single child had a pair of Guyanese gold earrings that looked like grapes. Like every single child. I don't care who you are, every child had that. I'm just like, why? Like, I, I had a pair, but I never wore them. I hated them. I don't like dangly earrings. So I was like, I'm not I'm not about this life. Um, say something in Guyanese dialect. Lord. I, I don't even know if I can. Like, I'm not from there from there, but I catch the accent. I've caught the accent because I've been around my family for so long. Problem is, it only comes out when I'm angry. So, like, I sound normal. But this is part of the reason I don't sound like I'm from New York. So... In California, when I'm in California, people tell me I don't have a New York accent. And I'm like, because I'm mixed with Guyanese. So, like, I kind of have that. I sound like I'm from Guyana, but not like I don't sound like I'm from here because I have here mixed with Guyana. So, I have to say something like really off the wall to sound like I'm from New York. Same thing with Guyana. So, one thing I know is Guyanese people put skunt in everything. Like, no matter what the sentence they talk about, Take your skunk, boy. Why? Why? Like, everything is a skunk. Um, there's... But my my Guyanese accent comes out when I'm mad. Like, if I'm angry, if I'm arguing with somebody, if I'm arguing with a guy, a girl, no matter who I'm arguing with, that's when it comes out. But, like, I'm not angry right now, so I can't, like, bring it out. But, 
you can hear it in my voice and I don't even know where it comes from. I guess it comes from my mom, but you really hear it clearly. But um, there's a there's a bunch of things like I can't even think of like certain things that they say other than because my mom goes on rants and stuff. I told y'all that and she'll be talking for hours in her acts and then she transfers and it sounds like it just sounds like her acts after that. I'm just like, well, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Um, and this is not in the dialect, but they said a lot of things in gibberish. So when I was younger, I learned gibberish. If y'all remember that show Zoom, they, they called it Ubby Dubby. So gibberish is kind of like that, but with, instead of B's, it's P's. So like they would try to be talking about me and I'm like, I understand everything you're saying. You do know that, right? Like, um, so it'd be like, I buy up on tapu, kapo tapu, tapu stupper. That means I want to go to the store. And it literally is just every word that you put P's in the middle. I don't know why my family thought that was so smart, but um, yeah, I'm trying to think of something I could say in Ghanese dialect, but like I'm not coming up with other than scunt. Like I know that they put scunt in everything, um, or like if they want you to like go away or something like that, carry yourself somewhere. God, oh, okay. Like this, and there's two different Ghanese accents. There's a, like. The country people have more access than the city people. And my family's from the city, so, like, they can talk complete English. Like, you can hear them, and you would not know they were from Guyana because you would not hear their accent at all. But they also, like, if you come from the... I have family from the country, too, but it's not, like, my immediate family, and they sound like country. Kind of like America. Like, people in New York sound different than people from Alabama, like that. So, yeah. Um, what part of Guyana are you from? Well... I told y'all I'm Guyanese American, but my family's from Georgetown. And also, don't come for me. Georgetown is our capital. And I remember my mom saying, like, when I was younger, oh, because I would ask, like, my friends where they're from. And, like, if they were from Jamaica, they say Kingston and things like that. So my mom was like, if people say they're from the city, they're not really from there. And um, so I had to, like, I'm like, but mommy, you're from the city. Like, what do I say then? And she's like, no, but we actually from the city. So... I gotta break it down for y'all so y'all know that I'm not like lying. I'm from like we're from Georgetown, but we're from like so my mom's family's from East Rhinebelt, my dad's family's from West Rhinebelt. Like that. Like and if you're from Guyana, you know what I'm talking about. And then my I have family in like Burbese and other areas, but most of my family's from Georgetown. Like my mom grew up on Pineapple Street. Like, I, like, know the house and everything. Like, so, I'm not lying. I'm actually from GT. I'm a GT baby, but, yeah, like, my dad from Guyana, too. Like, my whole family, there was no mixture. My mom, like, came to America, went to Canada, found the Guyanese man. Like, so, I'm full-blown. I'm basically full-blown Guyanese. That's why I don't claim America at all. Like, I'm not from here. I'm not like these kids here. I'm not from here. I'm not even, like, I know the country's national anthem. I know this country's national anthem too, but that's because we had to learn it. It wasn't like a choice in school. I know the country's national song. Like, I know most of the things about, so I, I know what our, the colors on our flag mean. Like, I'm not from here. <laughs> I refuse to be from here. <laughs> um, so do not come into my comments talking about I'm a Yankee. I'm a this, I'm a, I'm, block you okay um last one because i know this tag is getting long i've been talking for a minute and i gotta get ready to go meet my little me what do you most like about Guyanese culture so i would have to say the best thing is that so we're caribbean but we're not a caribbean island like and i don't like how people just automatically think that everybody just wants to be from the islands like we're, we're from Guyana, but we have to say, one, you have to say Guyana, Guyana, South America every time we say that because people automatically think Guyana is Ghana. Guyana and Ghana are not the same places. Ghana is in Africa. Guyana is in South America. Two, we're proud to be from South America and not like an island. Like we're a mainland where we have our own space. We're like, we have a rainforest, rainforest. the equator runs through like our, our country. Like we are happy to be from South America. We're just, we're considered Caribbean because the British raised us just like they raised Jamaica and 
Trinidad and Barbados. So it's not any different. But we are South American. And that means we get a lot of culture. So our main people, our mainland people are Amerindian. So the people that were there like before the Africans came and the other people came and took over and stuff like that. Um, so my grandmother, my great grandmother is Amerindian. Um, like straight Amerindian. Um, that's why I was like, what happened? Why, why I didn't get the hair? I don't understand. But she's like from the mainland. Like she was there when the other people got there. And we are the type of country like we get to, we're by, we're bordering Brazil and then we have, I think it's either French Guyana or Suriname right next to us. And then we have, um, Venezuela on the other side so we kind of get like the Hispanic parts and we get like the British parts so my mom's dad so my grandfather on my mother's side I never met him but he's Portuguese so we have like little bits of everybody in us so we have a little bit of Portuguese we have Kuli people which is like Indian we have the Amerindians which are the native people we have different types of people and I think that's probably my favorite part and the fact that we have some of the best gold in the world. Like, people come to Guyana to take gold, like, and take it back and sell it. Like, Guyanese gold is very valuable, and that's probably the most valuable thing, which is why we will not give up our country. Like, it was a fight, like, to become independent, which is why we are so prideful of this day. And we love the fact that we are Guyanese. We love the fact that we're a part of South America, but also a part of ourselves it's kind of we could be our own like continent we, okay not our own continent because like we're little we're little but we're not that little like we have only monty told me the population is around seven hundred thousand. one that's less people that's just in new york city alone two you could put like you could put jamaica guyana i mean what you could put jamaica trinidad barbados Grenada, all those islands in, inside of our country and you would still have space like we have a lot of land and we have and those people have more people than us like I think Jamaica has like a population of like 3 million or something we have way less people than them but we have so much land like we have like because most people live by Georgetown which is by the um, coastline and then everybody else lives in the country and there's, there's not that many people that live in the country so the country is literally just country like there's nothing but mainland and mosquitoes and shit so <laughs> um most of the people like the population live in the city and then there's people that live in the country of course um but yes that's the end of this tag i'm very happy i'm proud that my country made 50 years i'm sad that i'm not there but i will be there for 75 years trust and believe i will make it to guyana like if i go to guyana for graduation or anything i will vlog and then I'll vlog for the next, um, um, what the heck? I'll vlog if I go for like the 75th anniversary if I'm still doing YouTube because I'll be, it'll be like 25 years from now, I'll be old. Um, and I'm going to put clips of Guyana either in the beginning of this video or the end of this video so that you guys can see how beautiful the land is. Like we have a very beautiful land. Um, but yes, I... Love you guys, and I will talk to you later. See you. Bye. She bad and she know it. Some niggas save hoes. I'm not that heroic. Could you be my escort? Cause just like them two door fours, damn, they'll make them like you.